Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Somebody asked me to make a quick video about the responsibilities as an expat overseas. Um, first thing I want to say is you're a bit of an ambassador for your country, or in the Philippines, the case is an ambassador from anywhere uh, outside of the Philippines, because everything you do has a negative or positive effect on everybody else. If it's negative, it's often seen as that's how expats are, that's normal. Uh, they're normally bad tempered, drunks, etc. Um, but if you do something good, it's people are often surprised uh, purely because it's unexpected for people to act like human beings in some cases. <laughs> um, but then you have the responsibilities if you're getting married or commit to the relationship, if you're just wanting somebody to meet up with, don't get married. Simple as that. Um, when Filipino women commit to a marriage, you meet the right girl, etc. They're marrying 110 percent. Um, for them, it's not just a case of a Western type marriage, which is basically um, just part and parcel of the process. Um, that's why in the West, it's quite common for people to live together for 20 years, and then go, oh, maybe we should actually get married. In the Philippines, it's a it's a lot more than that. It's a real commitment, which is why it's so important that you take it seriously. Um, I would also say that if you're serious about a relationship, you should also think about finances in the future. If you're an older guy, then be responsible. Um, you know, you should try and budget for you not being there. Um, because when it, when things go south in the Philippines, it goes south quite quickly. Um, there's no point building ha a big house, for example, and then say, oh, the wife gets the house. Fantastic. She's got a house she cannot afford to maintain. It falls into disrepair. It gets the family robbing it blind, etc. Um, it's probably more practical to have several apartments. You know, like the setup we have is currently three, four, five one bedroom apartments and one three bedroom. Reality is, if they're empty, they're empty. It doesn't cost nothing to leave them empty. But when they're fully, fully booked out, it's an income every month. So there's that side of things, you know, leave something behind. It doesn't take a lot of investment. In fact, if you do things over a period of time, it keeps you busy and out of trouble, but at the same time, gives you something to do. Um, I like doing construction projects. Um, but yeah, I mean, something like that is more practical. Having, even if you had a house, having divided doors so you could separate them into individual apartments is more practical. In the West, it wouldn't make any sense, but in the Philippines, they can rent rooms out, they can rent a split unit out, you know, it makes sense. Um, if you have kids, you've got to remember, you may end up having to go to the West like we have, um, because the education system is not to a standard I would find acceptable. Um, international schools, etc., are pretty good, um, but at the same time, it's a it's expensive but b um would they have the same network there also if you could get somebody a european or canadian american passport something that's a higher value um would they be better off with that because in all honesty i think i would say yes because even in the uk you can be as thick as anything and you can rely on the state to look after you. <laughs> in the Philippines, you can be the smartest person in the world and still struggle because the, your passport's often as much used as a chocolate fire guard. Um, so it is something to consider. It's, it's taking things as a responsibility. You know, if you're committing to a relationship, commit to it. Don't do it hap haphazard. Oh, you know, they can have the second life after I'm dead or whatever. 
what sort of commitment is that? It's not even fair on yourself because you're not even committing to your future. You're you're predicting your own death. <laughs> That's not life. You should be looking at things from a more positive outlook. Um, in the Philippines, the expats generally have uh, the majority ain't good people. So being on the better side, um, people appreciate it. it and I'll, I'll tell you, even the world over, I mean, I, I know I've been places before where people are a bit surprised that you've got manners. Um, in the same way people are surprised when you engage with them because they're not used to people engaging with them for, that are a foreigner. Um, but I, I'm quite happy there seems to be more younger people going to the Philippines these days because I think that ratio will slowly change. Um, well, the first thing is the older people are dying out slowly, um, but also the younger generation are slightly different in their way of thinking, which is why all this political stuff's a bit weird at the moment globally, um, because you've got two types of generations going head to head. You, in the US it's the baby boomers going against younger generations. In the UK it's sort of like socialist against um, capitalism but in a very obscure way because uh, often a lot of the socialist views don't make any sense. Um, capitalist views make perfect sense because they rub us blind. Um, so you know exactly where you're coming from on that. But with the socialist views, um, it's a spend, 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 but without a honest recovery plan or calculations. It's like Scotland's independence. We want independence. We want it. Okay, have it. Because I'll tell you now, just have it. Um, and they admit already they couldn't survive without the UK currently. Um, it's a bit, bit bizarre sitting there shouting, the, complaining it's all fixed and everything else and at the same time couldn't survive without the rest of the UK because the economy isn't built for it. Bizarre, bizarre. but completely off tangent again. But yeah, responsibility, just be a responsible person. Um, it's not hard, in fact a lot of people appreciate good people. Um, people like having people that are nice. Um, it's, it's bizarre. Bizarre when you see it, when people actually say to you, oh, you're, not, you're nice, I could tell you're nice, blah, blah, blah. Because it's a bit weird for Filipinos to actually have nice people around them. It just seems strange, but it's true. You know, the average expat is a drunk womanizer um often violent um can often be ex an ex con of some description which unfortunately <laughs> leaves a lot of uh negativity that the positive guys need to mop up um it's not an easy thing but I don't find it too hard to be nice to people. I treat people as the way I like to be treated and that's pretty much my golden rule and everything. Um, if you go with that, you can't go far wrong. <laughs>